Okay, get yourself ready for your restorative practice. So have a blanket over the top of your usual mat, just to give you that feeling of comfort, warmth, and just a little bit of extra kind of feeling of bed almost really. Oh, my camera stopped again. So have, let me just adjust that. So just get yourself ready. I'll just try and sort this out while we're doing this. So have the bolster from underneath your knees. Have a couple of blocks for your feet, just for our basic relaxation pose. If you're wearing glasses, take them off and just align yourself along the floor. If you can cover your eyes, then it's always good to do that because it helps to block out the light. So just make sure that you feel that all of the equipment is in the right place. Make sure you feel like you can stretch out without being inhibited by any other equipment. And then just allow yourself to release and let go. So soften your jaw. Soften your tongue and just indulge in this feeling of release as you finally let go after your busy day. Allow the body to be supported by the floor. Using the bolsters and the blocks and the blanket to help you to relax all the more. Just listen to the sound of your breath as it enters and as it exits. Observe how the body makes contact with the floor. Observe how the body makes contact with the equipment. And allow yourself to release heavily into the floor. Just give yourself permission to relax. So it sounds like from our conversation at the beginning that everyone's had quite a busy, hectic day. So now we can just use our restorative practice to revive our energy. As you inhale, observe and acknowledge that you are drawing in energy from the universe, drawing energy in through the nose and into the lungs.
Draw your attention into the soles of your feet. Drawing your observation into the soles of the feet so that the feet and the skin of the feet feel like it comes to life. Draw your attention into the sole of the foot so that the skin feels as though it tingles with awareness. Draw your attention into the soles of the feet and then consciously relax the skin and the muscle, the soles of the feet. Relax the soles of your feet so that the soles of the feet feel light. Draw your attention to the top of the foot, to the skin of the top of the foot. Drawing your attention to the skin and the muscle and the flesh. And then gently let go of any tension around the top of the foot, letting the legs, letting the feet relax and the legs relax, letting the skin spread across the foot. Completely relaxing the top of the foot.
Draw your attention into your shins. Just feeling the skin and the muscle come to life a little. Just maintaining the consciousness of the shin skin. Draw your attention into the shin skin and allow the shins to sink from the front of the shin into the back of the calf muscle. Draw your attention into your thighs. Draw your attention into your thighs so that they tingle with awareness. Drawing your attention to the fronts of the shins and allowing the fronts of the shins to sink into the backs of the calf muscles. Draw your attention into your thighs and allow your thighs to become heavy, sinking the fronts of the thighs into the backs of the thighs. Allow the fronts of your thighs to sink into the backs of the thighs, allowing your head, your legs to just become heavy, releasing into the floor. Draw your consciousness into the torso, to the abdomen and the hips and the ribs taking deep inhalations feel that your chest rises upwards and outwards and with exhalations your chest lowers and your ribs relax So draw your attention into your torso and then consciously let go of any tension. Letting go with the abdomen and the side ribs and the front of the chest. Release the torso into the floor and then become conscious of your arms as they make contact with the ground. Draw your 
attention into your arms, and the shoulders into the elbows, into the wrists, into the fingertips. your wrists and your hands to completely release, providing a feeling of buoyancy. Letting the arms collapse into the floor. And then draw your attention to the neck and into your head. Softening the area around the eyes, softening the jaw. Draw your attention into your neck, letting go of the muscles of the neck and the muscles of the head, and the skin and the flesh. Drawing the skin from the crown down towards the neck. And then softening the skin around the face and the neck and the inner ear. So as you know, as we progress into the practice, I'll speak less and less so that you're able to relax your ears, not having to stay attentive.
and you're ready to disturb yourself just gently wriggle your toes and wriggle your fingers and then bend your knees bring your feet onto the bolster have your knees together your feet apart for a moment and then gently roll over onto your right side and then sit yourself up into cross legs so just get your blanket and have it in a big fold like this a little quarter fold and then just fold it down the middle for mountain brook so you have that for your shoulder blade region so it's just in the shoulder blade you don't need the blocks for your back you just want the bolster underneath your knees the folded blanket just in the shoulder blade region your head on the floor and then you rest your arms over your head just like this so just come in and out of the pose until it feels comfortable again cover your eyes if you can so this is really good for kind of opening up your energy so if there's stiffness in your shoulders you can put some blocks underneath your hands just to open up the hips a little but sorry the shoulders a little otherwise just get yourself comfortable and then just indulge in the pose for a little while so as i said earlier i'll speak less as we continue so that you're not having to listen you can just relax and i'll talk you through each bits where they're irrelevant So after you've been here for a little while, perhaps the challenge builds a little. It should never feel like effort. Just adjust if it does feel like there's lots of effort involved.
put the position of the hand so that the other hand is on top of the stack. Bring your arms back to the side of the body. Bend your knees, uncover your eyes. And then just roll onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two. And then straighten up with the top leg. And then just come into cross legs. Just observe your energy observe how perhaps your energy feels as though it's changed a little from how it was at the beginning maybe there's a lightness in the shoulders and in the chest that wasn't there before so we'll keep that chest area energetic with gentle energy get a couple of blocks and we're just going to come into the butterfly pose so have a little ramp for your back and then just bring yourself into the butterfly pose pulling the feet towards you and then just guiding yourself down along the bolster so the chest is lifted and open again if you can you can cover your eyes it's always a good way to just bring quietness if your head rolls back have a blanket from underneath your head otherwise just Align yourself along the bolster, put some blocks underneath your thighs if you're stiff in the hips. Otherwise, just using the bolster.
And then remain on the bolster, but just stretch your legs out. Just let your legs rest on the floor in a straight line. Just staying with the bolster. Okay, when you're ready, just take the cover off your eyes, push yourself up into a seated position, just being cross legs. Again, just observe your energy, observe the lightness of the chest and the head. Okay, we're going to do a nice. Um, gentle inversion for um, our shoulders and our neck so just get your blanket kind of unfold it so that it's like a, a long um, slightly longer eighth fold and then just fold over like make it into a bit of a swiss roll so you've got some of the blanket there for your head but you've got a fairly decent um, swiss roll for your head if you've got a, a um, an oblong bolster it's nice for this so it's nice for your back it'll, it'll be nice if you haven't got an oblong bolster but it's good to have that as well so you have that nearby just come down onto the floor and then just bring like let your head and your neck kind of settle into that little swiss roll and then get the bolster lift the seat bones up and then just slide the bolster underneath your back so you're just going to keep your knees bent. If the Swiss roll feels like it could be a little bit bigger, you can just adjust it. You don't want it to be too big. You don't want to kind of give yourself a headache or anything, but just something that's going to support the back of your neck. And then again, you can just cover your eyes. So the bolster is underneath the, the smaller, the, the lower back is on the bolster. And then just let the arms rest on the floor. So gentle inversion, very gentle inversion, bridge pose. If you feel that you sink in the chest in this pose, then just shuffle the bolster a bit higher up your back. So the feet are apart, just keep the feet underneath the knees. So keep the knees bent.
Okay, when you're ready, just move your eye cover in. Just lift your seat bones and slide the bolster away. And then just bring yourself back down so you can keep the roll under your head. If that doesn't feel comfortable though, just adjust it. You can fold the blanket up a little more so that it feels a little more comfortable. And then just with the bolster underneath your knees, the Blanket underneath your head. Just allow yourself to gently release into the floor. Move this back into our basic relaxation pose. Just spending the last couple of minutes just allowing ourselves to just indulge in relaxation.
So just allowing the body to just become heavy on the floor. Just letting go of the muscles of the arms and the legs. Unhooking the muscles of the arms and the legs so that the body just relies entirely on the support of the floor. And then from that heaviness, maybe you notice a feeling of energetic lightness radiating out from the bones. Radiating from the bones and into the muscle and the organs and the flesh and the skin. Using your in breath and your out breath to distribute that feeling of energetic lightness evenly throughout the body down into the tips of the toes, into the tips of the fingers, and into the top of the head. Just basking in that feeling of energetic lightness. Okay, when you're ready, just gently wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers, just remove your eye covering. Bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, just have your feet apart, your knees together. Just rest in your back into the floor. And then very gently roll over onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two. And then stretch out your top leg, come back up into a seated position. Just a final cross legs with your hands in the masti, just a final Spinal lift. Close your eyes and draw your breath in through your nose down into the abdomen. Be conscious of the energy that you have released through your restorative poses this evening. That good, positive, healthy flow of clean energy that the recline imposes. Bring to the body and to the mind. And then draw your chin down to meet your chest. Just spend a moment to acknowledge the positive energy you've created inside. And then send some of that positive energy out into the world. And then gently release the backs of your hands down towards your knees, palms facing upwards. And as you raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. So hopefully you feel as though if you were a little bit tired before you started, <laughs> You feel like you've really given yourself um, some energy, you've really woken yourself up and you've got lots of good energy to put into your evening. So thank you very much for joining me.